beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Linda, special needs teacher and child neuropsychologist. Come with me. So this is what we were we are, we are talking about today, eye-hand coordination. Eye-hand coordination can be an issue or a struggle for children who are 3 years, 5 years, 6, even to 10 to 12 years. So how can we improve eye-hand coordination with the resources that we have at home right now the children are at home because we have our children at home. So this is how you do it. You can use crayon if your child is under age. That is 3 years, 4 years and 2 years and a half. So you can use a crayon. If the child is a little bit like five years, six years, seven, you can use a pencil. If the child is bigger, you can even use a pen. So for you, so, so that you can be able to understand what is eye-hand coordination and be able to see what I'm doing, I will use mark pen, but please don't use mark pen at home. Don't use mark pen at home. So, but this one I'm just using it so that I can show you how you do it. So this is how you help improve high-hand coordination. So for high-hand coordination, you start from the bigger dots. And the bigger dot, you join them horizontally. So these are bigger dots. You start from the bigger one, the large dot. You join them across using a pen, a crayon, or a pencil. Then you join them like this. You guide the child. If the child is not able to do that, you guide them. So you guide them through. As you join the dots, the dots are bigger enough. I'm using a mark pen so that you can be able to see, but don't use it at home. Then you join the dots like that. You can have the child do this if they are struggling with eye and coordination. With the larger dots, let them do this over and over and over and over okay then if the child masters joining the larger dot you can proceed to smaller dots and now for the smaller dots so that the child not get bold you can now have them join the dot vertically now not horizontally no vertically so help them join the dot vertically down 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 sing for them the song as they do it so that they don't get bold, have them join the dot as they go down, as they go down, as they go down. Guide them join the dot as they go down, as they go down, as they go down. That is joining the dot vertically. Then make sure you they do it over and over and over and over. When they master that, then proceed to joining dots zigzagly. And how do we do it? Then help the child join the dot like this, like this, like this. Have them join again like this, like this, like this. You know, look for different patterns. It's not a mass, it should be zigzag the way I'm doing it. You can have your own pattern. You can have your own pattern that your child can do. The purpose of this is the child to be able to follow as the pen goes, their eye and their hand have to coordinate to be able to locate where the dot are. And it's not a must you have this, them joining the dot zigzagging. You can have them join in your own way of doing it. The whole thing is to make sure they are able to locate the dot and able to join the dot with the other dot. And as they are joining the dot with the other dot, in the book, they are developing it, they are improving their eye and coordination. These are the activities that right now the children are at home. You can give them a book, you can just have a book, read for them in different pages, then have them join the dot. But remember, it has to be from the larger dot if the child has, is, is really struggling or the child is three years or four years, as you proceed to smaller or to the tiny dot. Kind of make sure you start from the lander because when you start from the tiny ones, then you will have to struggle. The child is not able to master very fast. But when you start from the simple, as you proceed to the complex one, then the child is able to master. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share, make sure you subscribe.